Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Thursday, the 14th day of April, 2022. Our topic today is hard work, a highway to the top. Bible says, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet, not I, but the grace of God, which was with me. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. Thought for the day. Successful people are hard workers. They are not just lucky. Diligence has been confirmed to be a key to life and destiny and the fulfillment in grand style. Diligence is both hard and smart work. Diligence is a highway to the top. On the other hand, indolence is the fast lane to obscurity in life. It can never be easy for the lazy. Jacob was a brutal worker. You see that in Genesis 31, 38 to 41. Hard work was the only way Jacob could survive and succeed in the hand of his very, very wicked and crooked uncle and master called Laban. At a point, he had to physically paint wood to determine the color of the animals that were to bring forth because that was the next condition for the reward of his service. He practically wearied out Laban by work. Paul the Apostle was another example of a diligent worker. He was the latecomer who became the front runner by work. 1 Corinthians 15.10 So it is not when you became a child of God that matters, but the level of the commitment you are ready to give. It is the level of spiritual energy de deployment that you are ready to release that determines how far you can go in life. Do not ever say some people are lucky because the breakthrough that God has given them, successful people, hard workers, are, it's, 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 it, they are successful and they are hardworking. And that's why they have experienced that kind of breakthrough. There's nothing about luck in it. God has helped us, for instance, and the level to which he has brought us so far it's a product of a lot of hard work. But anybody who says that we are lucky because of what God has done through us so far should try that kind of luck for maybe two weeks. Try running that schedule. There are some days we would walk throughout the night. That is how lucky we are, isn't it? Praise the Lord. Well, the Lord will grant you grace to be a diligent worker in the name of Jesus. determined to embrace work, hard work, diligent work in order to access your high place in life. Remember this, successful people are hard workers. They are not just lucky, they are working according to Papa. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, refuse to be lazy or lethargic or indolent in life. Number two, make up your mind to engage your life with brutal work. And I see you reaching the top in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Say after me, thank you, Lord, for your word to me today. I ask for the grace to be a hard and a diligent worker in Jesus' name. It's the fact that in addition to smelling and trumpeting and drinking and grabbing things, the elephant can use their trunks to breathe like a snorkel when they are deep inside water. In this way, they can swim fairly long distances. Isn't God wonderful? What a master creator. You have been created in his image perfectly and beautifully. May you fulfill destiny in Jesus' name. I'd like to pray for you today. You want to be born again. You've been working and working, but you don't see the results commensurate. Well, it's important that you combine hard work with the help of God. And so today you want Jesus to be the Lord of your life. You want to be born again. You want your sins washed away. Pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. 
Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray for you today for the impartation of the energy for diligence. In Jesus' name. And I want to wish you a happy birthday. Congratulations. As your days are, so shall your strength be. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Thank you.